Hello everyone, and this is Jermaine and this is Miyuki. So today we talk about another very interesting paper applying deep neural network for this task called uh, quantitative structure activity relationship. And essentially as a property prediction task, given a molecule structure and you want to predict uh, certain property that you care about. This is a very important task for drug discovery. And this paper is very interesting because uh, it's actually summarized uh, uh, a competition held uh, organized by uh, Merck, which is the one of the largest pharmaceutical company. It's a Kaggle competition, and and here's the list of authors. Uh, it's published at the Journal of Chemical Information and Modeling, and um, uh, the authors include uh, Jin Shui Ma, Robert Sheraton, Andy Liao, George Dow, and Vladimir uh, Svinik. And uh, most of the authors are coming from a company Merck, except for the second to the last author, George Dow. He's actually the winning team from this competition. So I find out the link of the competition, and here you can see it. And it's still on the Kaggle website. And this, as it says, the, this competition is about uh, finding, developing new medicine. It's important to identify molecules that are highly active towards their intent target but not towards other target that may cause side effect. So objective of this competition is to identify the best statistical method for predicting biological activity of different molecules, both on and off target, given numerical descriptors generated from their chemical structure. Right? So in this case, the inputs are actually already extracted features, right? those numerical descriptors. And the challenge based on a 15 molecular activity data set, each for a biologically relevant target. So you have 15 data set, 15 targets, and each row corresponding to a molecule and contain a descriptor, those are the features, derived from the molecules, and you want to predict some kind of a label, binary classification test. And in addition to this prediction challenge, they're also hosting a visualization challenge for uh, $2,000, and the total price uh, money is uh, 40000 And you can see the first place 22,000, second place 10,000, third place 6,000, and uh, 2,000 for the visualization challenge. And the evaluation metric is um, this uh, averaged R square measure over the 15 data set. And uh, the winners, as we just already mentioned, um, they actually, the paper we, we will talk about um, include the, I guess the team lead from the first place and from uh, at the time from University of Toronto, George Dow. And there's uh, this team's uh, quite a few famous names here, and including uh, uh, Jeff Hinton, who's godfather for deep learning. And, uh, um, and we'll have a second place uh, from Connecticut and third place from Russia, Australia, and USA. So now let's come back to the paper itself. So we already talked about this paper as a kind of a, a summary of uh, this particular molecular activity challenge. And the task is given this input matrix X, where, where each row corresponding to a molecule, each column corresponds to some features that are extracted from this molecule. Then we have uh, this binary classification task, right? this activity Y, either it's zero or one. So that's the task. And in the medical, so in the chemical world, this task is called quantitative structure activity relationship, or QSAR. And um, they used uh, the winning team used uh, deep learning. So this is a very quick overview of uh, neural networks basics. So it's uh, the inputs are for neural network is some kind of a feature representation, right? It could be a I mean, pixel, uh, and it can be binary. It could be numerical, and corresponding to the input data. And then it goes through um, many layers of uh, this uh, neurons. For example, each layer, what it does is they transform the input X through a linear combination followed by a nonlinear activation, and then goes through many layers. And finally, they will predict some output Y hat. Oftentimes they're, uh, in this case, binary classification. It will be some probability score between zero and one. And this very simple uh, neural network with one hidden layer is called a uh, multi-layer perceptron, or MLP. And for, I mean, train, the method for training this is uh, using a backpropagation. It's a, essentially a, a gradient descent-based method, and they use backpropagation 
from the output layer and, and then gradually calculating all the loss, uh, sorry, all the uh, gradients. Uh, and so this is a very efficient way to compute the gradient using backpropagation. And that's uh, how they train the neural network. So let's look at the, the result uh, in this paper. So they have um, include the 15 uh, target, sorry, 15 uh, tasks from the tech group competition that's listed on the top. Then in this paper, they also expanded this with 15 additional data set or tasks. So they, altogether, they have 30 tasks. And the largest task has uh, over 318,000 molecules, and the smallest or, and the largest one um, have uh, 12, over 12,000 features. And the method in comparisons include uh, random forest. That's the previous state of art that commonly used in this QSAR task. And they also, I mean, the winning team used uh, uh, this deep neural network model. So they also uh, compare this neural network model with the random forest model in this paper. And this shows the improvement, the y-axis improvement on R square of deep neural network DNN method uh, against the random forest method RF. And the higher, right, like this uh, red line is zero, means anything below this line, there's no improvement of the DNN method over random forest. And if it's above this red line, there's some improvement. And the blue uh, dotted line here is the mean average improvement across all 15 tasks. You can see that the average improvement is 0 0.043 in terms of R square. And a small improvement, but still a kind of an improvement over there. And four of the 15 tasks, there's no improvement. But uh, overall, you can see there's some level of improvement uh, for this test. On the additional data set, they also kind of compared. They also have uh, even more significant improvement, average improvement of 13.9% uh, over uh, this 15 new data set. And yeah, that's it. So this is a quick summary of this uh, uh, paper using deep neural network for uh, quantitative structure activity relationship prediction. And thank you very much.